you're on an acid trip and you're hallucinating and only you can see what's going on and other people are just looking at you like what the f is wrong you know when you're standing there it's like it's eating my donuts the apple it's vision it's pro <laughs> things no one will say all right let's see It looks ridiculous, let's be honest. Like what? <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, I mean, you're... Bro! That is your sleep paralysis demon, right? <laughs> there. <laughs> that looks terrifying, all right? <laughs> oh, first frame is already BS, right? Even if you leave and give up, yeah, yeah. It's like, I think it was for like five years, if I'm correct, Solara, for like five years. To be fair, yeah, okay, but still, it looks, it, it looks fake. <laughs> swipe left, swipe left. <laughs> no, but I, I don't know, man. Much, your t it's too much teeth, I think. I don't know. Um, I want to make a review. Come help me. All right, sounds good. It's All just... Right. If you want like a normal review of this thing, I can't recommend enough to go watch, to go watch Marquez Brownlee's. His is fantastic. This I don't is watch. I like, don't want normal kind of reviews. A different take on this and different questions, and that's what this is. <laughs> but Marquez's is really good. What is this thing that I'm holding? Literally. as well like look at the vest that he's wearing right it's very bright so it's basically like people are able to see him coming cars will be able to i feel like that's just safety it's not because he wants to wear it that's just an extra safety that if he accidentally like does something out of the blue then oh, boom you're such a good boy yeah no, then boom <laughs> ben thank you so much for the sub with the prime welcome to the fam appreciate it uh, it's just so that other traffic can see him coming and then they realize what he has on his face and that's the moment they know stay the f away <laughs> <You're alive>. <laughs> <laughs> how do you find it i've had it for like an hour yeah okay can you put windows up now if you want to yeah so like i can put a window but the vision now, is still when i start walking they like go away they fade away like it does look like darker like it, it kind of looks like you're wearing sunglasses like i don't know you can still see everything though you know still with traffic new york is still at risk yeah of course <laughs> well i mean he kind of needs to i think like a safety hazard Bricks, an old toilet. I found the restroom. And That's what I mean. I can There's do no this on my phone. Pilot. Let's pile onto that boat and leave. And as you can see, <laughs> this short able. <laughs> well, later in this video, we're going to a hundred island and also super island. But first, we're gonna head over to. But that's here. That's what I mean. All right. So. And also. You're watching it, you see him walking. But first, we're gonna head over to and boom! It's it's gone. Strategy for interacting with people. They gaslight you into thinking. And I'm like, okay, this so is cool. <laughs> but because of the text windows, it's just nah. Goodbye. No. <laughs> If you're moving a lot while you're moving, this thing comes up that says tracking fail. So it doesn't track if you're moving a lot. So there's nothing for the sensors to like lock on to. It doesn't know where to put stuff. But standing at a subway stop watching a Mr. Beast video is a pretty special, it's a pretty special experience. Well, like, how is really it special when you do it on your phone? That's what I don't get. But it's just standing at the front, or you're just holding your phone, Wait, like you can still watch it. It's interesting, I, I, can't imagine, I can't imagine why you're looking at... Uh... I'm looking at you right now. Oh, okay. 
I can see clear as day. You got on a blue tie with a beautiful tie pin at the top. So it looks like a bit of glasses in terms of side. It might not be so bad. Enjoy your Maybe that's why this Bye. kind of thing will turn out. That's that's uh, what I'm saying. I think like because it's still in very very early stages. Maybe in like another ten years, when it comes to AR, it will be better. But it needs to be more affordable, and it needs to be way smaller. It's you know it's just like if you would be wearing like sunglasses, you know, like the size of like sunglasses or maybe normal glasses. Um, you know, then that would make perfect sense. And I feel like we're still pretty far away from that and um and lost way longer yeah because uh there's something with the fucking battery packs of these things as well isn't it uh i opened up apple tv and it was like this window right here jordan and as it started to move the window went away with the back with the <laughs> that's what i mean on. you can't use windows if you're in like a if there's a lot of move, like kinetic movement and i imagine it works in an airplane because the airplane is so steady but this is a subway and it's bouncing so i gotta wait till we get <laughs> dude with an airplane as soon as you have turbulence it's just like your screen is gonna go just like fucking ham <laughs> i have this thing tethered to my iphone it seems to be working well enough but for some reason, when I try to open Safari, it won't open. Is it about GPS following? In what way you mean, Tim? Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. What is this? It's a cool look into the future, but if you have to stand still to type and you're basically you're standing there for two minutes for a message that is three three words long. Stood out on your on your phone, you know, it's still in such early stages that at this point, it's just ridiculous. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> So I know I think due to the sensors, uh, Tin, due to the sensors within the vision, uh, within the vision pro, it detects that you're moving and hence why it like swipes it away. I was just responding to text messages. <laughs> well, look how he's walking as well. This is kind of, you know, like. Out no of way. balance. You're the only person I wanted to meet. In case he waits, in case he waits, I can't tell. Can you not tell? No way. Oh Literally my god. We were, like, we were we talking. Yeah, oh healthy. my god. No. It's a cringe. It's a cringe. All right. It's a cringe. No way. I'm actually freaking The idea that I can have my whole like computer digital online world that exists in the real world. That's what. Somebody. Yeah. That's, That's what, what I mean. feels like it's bigger than <laughs> AR or VR. Like I have the Oculus, it's great, but it's definitely it's feels fun like a boy over some goggles. This feels like a little glimpse into the future of what computing could be I like. I mean, they did already like they did already recognize him, and then when it came to like the Vision Pro, that's when the fanboying started. No one is ever that excited about goggles. I mean, if you're an Apple dick rider, you will be. If you're an Apple dick rider and, you know, you need to have every Apple product, then yeah, you're gonna fan fanboy over that. Because it's the newest gadget, it's the newest thing, and you want it. Whether it's good or not. So, you know, just keep dick riding. Down the road. Why is everybody staring Sorry, at me? what did he so say? What computing could be like... Down the road. Why is everybody staring yeah. at me? Yeah. <laughs> Do I look as ridiculous as those people make me feel like I look? Yep. Uh, your, your eyes are glowing. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, Jordan, you're standing right in front of my Mr. Beast video. <laughs> Come right there. Okay. Years ago. This used to be a bar? Yep. Yeah. You want to walk under this bar? Right, so the idea of spatial computing, it doesn't make sense to me when I'm sitting in my office. I've got multiple screens. But right now I'm like in the city. I think the snowboarding the ones are more sturdy. Square, 
I've got my virtual keyboard here. I've got Apple TV there. I got YouTube Safaris open here. And it all kind of works. <laughs> like this? What I've got going on right now? This is wild. It's impossible for me to imagine that you can't see what I can see. Everything seems so real. And then I can just stand up. Anything but Cerny, yeah. I mean, it is, it looks cool. But it just doesn't have, like, proper function yet. I can't even have a bow then. Maybe it doesn't track. I don't know. Dude! I love Krippy Cream. I know it's called Krispy Kreme. I just call it Krippy Kreme. I haven't had Krippy Kreme, I think, in, like, a year. Oh! Fuck. I, I also, because of dinner tonight, I was just like, okay, I'm not gonna eat too much because otherwise I'm gonna be full when I get to the dinner. So, but now I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, gestures, though, from the outside. Yeah, it's just like you kind of. It's, man is just throwing gang signs, you know, unknowingly throwing gang signs. <laughs> Yeah, probably 100%. Jesse, done it. Thank you. Now we have to go to the What is he doing? Nah. <laughs> Dude. The butterfly is eating my donut. I mean, he's just doing a review, but like, come on, let's be honest. It's, you know, it's kind of like you're on an acid trip and you're hallucinating and only you can see what's going on and other people are just looking at you like, what the fuck is wrong? You know, when you're standing there, it's like, it's eating my donuts. It's just, it sounds very schizophrenic in a way, or just a really bad hallucinating trip. Like, it's, it's, it's <laughs> I don't know. I cannot take this serious, man. Like, I'm sorry, but butterfly is eating my donut. <laughs> I'm not judging him. Like, listen, he is just reviewing it. It's just... It's just... Ah. Uh, you know? <laughs> A fan will come in, by the way. <laughs> Turn off clothing. Now remaining uh, a lot of other things. <laughs> so she just uses special vibes if you're trying to grab them below. Thank you! Yes, exactly. Man's just having a bad trip. The concept for this video was to run around New York. Also, what I find as well, it's like people are nowadays already so like chronically online um, and, and, you know, not people are not as social anymore as what it was before the technology and i'm not saying technology is bad because you know like you're able to do the things like what i'm doing i'm able to do what i do because of technology so but i feel like socializing is being pushed back way way more this way i feel like if eventually you know if this is where it's going to go to people are not really they're just going to be focused on the digital world instead of on the real world, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because it will be like all around you and everybody will be wearing it. And that's kind of, it kind of reminds me of Wally. -E. You know, where everybody eventually sits in their lazy chairs, are incredibly overweight, are constantly in front of a screen, don't know how it is anymore, or or how to have normal human contact because like the the, all, the digital world is just so yeah it, it's very it's very isolating.
It's very isolating, I feel. <laughs> one step closer to Matrix. That's why I said one step closer to Wally. <laughs> Future generations get separation anxiety because they got their heads taken away for 15 minutes. I wouldn't even be surprised, Vargas, because you now already have like kids throw a ten uh, temper tantrum when they don't get to be on the iPad. Like, it also has to do, in my opinion, you know, it's also like the way that you're being taught, the way that you grow up how involved are your parents because yeah there there are still parents out there that obviously like put a lot of time and energy towards raising their kids and not giving them a fucking newest iphone when they're four years old but there's also a lot of parents out there that basically raise their kids on on an ipad they're not really there for their kids so here's an ipad because well mommy has to work mommy has to do this daddy needs to work daddy needs to go there um you know, so you, I feel like now you have a generation where it's kind of like iPad kids and and then also still kids that grow up in a normal way. But VR and AR will have their place. And then that brought us the ability to communicate across the world. Constantly hooked up seems too far. Yeah, exactly. I feel like it's... it's it's not really going to be doing a lot of good for, like, your brain chemistry. It's, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm behind screens a lot as well, because it's part of my job, but I need social contact, man. Like, <laughs> I need to see my friends, like, at least once or twice a week. I, I don't know, I could not just live behind a screen. It's just, it's just not healthy. Gotta get some fresh air once in a while, you know? Do you look or inform like in a tube or a train? Ah! it really depends to be honest like i usually what i do when i'm on the tube most of the time i put on spotify and then i put my phone in my pocket and then if there is a song that i don't like or if there's a song that i'm not feeling like i want to listen to boop skip next song and that's it i'm not really on my phone on the tube i just listen to music when i'm outside the house mainly Unless I'm meeting up with people, then of course you'll send them a message and be like, Hey, I'm going to be there at this time. See you there. But apart from that, I don't really do much actually when I'm traveling. It's mainly, it's mainly music and podcasts that I listen to. My generation was raised by the TV, but at least that was regulated. The stuff my friends, uh, kids watch on YouTube and TikTok are super bizarre. Yeah, exactly. And... What I think is, like, such a bad thing when it comes to, like, parents who do it that way. Then they also get angry if their kid starts picking up, like, really, really bad behavior. And then the parents get angry about what the kid is watching uh, and the person who the kid might be watching and be like, this is not child-friendly. And then, well, we never said it was. I mean, just because you don't put any attention to your kid and what they're watching and regulating it, they might go and find their own stuff, but instead of blaming themselves, they blame the other person because it's easier to point a finger in another direction than it is to point a finger at yourself. New York City wearing these, because I thought that would be funny. I think it was funny. But something happened. Something <laughs> happened today that was completely unexpected. And that something I don't think anyone else has really touched on. None of the reviews I've seen or read... None of them really uh, uh, put to words what I experienced. So when you take these off, they kind of go to sleep like your phone. And when you put them back on, you have to unlock them. They scan your eyeballs and then to start screen recording, go through the It takes a second. So rather than doing that, I just left these on the entire day. Um, the like two and a half hour battery pack you can plug into a fatter battery. So I never ran out of battery power. And after a couple how of hours long does the battery power lost? Running around the street lost. New York, as in not in a controlled environment, my brain sort of clicked, and it just forgot that I was looking through cameras and screens, and it just it it took what it saw as reality, and that is where this this that's where the that profound <laughs> moment came from, and what occurred to me as I was sitting there in Times Square on a bench strangers all around me the real world moving all around me but i had like a big screen up where i was watching a mr beast video and then over here i had this keyboard that i could interact with and over here i had my i messages and over here i had my apple tv and then all of my apps and they're floating in Times square in the middle of new york city they're floating there and i'm actually there and there's actual humans around me and in that moment i was like holy shit this is it 
This is the future of computing that everyone's been promising for like the last 15 years. This is something that like, let me like truly peek into where we're at, where all of this is going. This isn't the, like the future of AR or VR. This- <laughs> Wait, you also call connected through computer with a cable? <laughs> of course not. Oh. Kids hate me for fetting YouTube content and always watching what they watch, even with filters and the kids do thing as bizarre content. No, but I mean, Okara, I think that's a good thing to do because there is a lot of things out there that is not supposed to be for kids and they will be able to find it nonetheless. I feel I, I, I discussed this yesterday with Nix. Um, they're trying to pass a bill i know in america where they basically want to make social media for 16 years and older i'd say up that to 18. i don't think it should be on social media at all not just because i don't want to read a 13 years old opinion about some political thing going on in the world uh that they have no knowledge about that they know absolutely nothing about because their brain isn't working in that way yet um you know, and just spewing out all opinions. That's, just shut the fuck up. I, I don't need to see a 13 year old, uh, 13 years old opinion um, about politics or about certain rights, certain wrongs, about women. I'm like, you know, I don't need to see that. Um, and it's also for their own safety because you see a lot of grooming when it comes to Instagram, when it comes to Twitter, when it comes to TikTok. Um, you know, there is a lot of bad people, like bad grown-up people out there um, that will, that, that try to make use of, like, that try to, that try to groom kids. So, I feel, I feel like, you know, I don't think it's a, it's a bad thing that social media would be banned for kids altogether until 18. Why do that? Grooming is horrible to people with respect. Yeah, but like, <laughs> pedos are gonna be pedos. Like, <laughs> th there's not really, there's not really much you can do about that. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now, Jack, because I'm currently like recording for YouTube as well. So, um, I'll do that after we're done. <laughs> Father for Prime Minister. <laughs> Fucking kick Ricky Sh Shina Shunaki. That's how we. I don't know. I never use his actual name, Shunaki. <laughs> I'm hoping that legislation passes. Uh, we had to try to convince my friend's daughter that birds are real. Apparently, TikTok set their drones. Oh my god, that makes one want to punch a hole in a wall with my head. Ugh. There are, there are all with worse opinions or more ignorant than the current generation of younger teens. To, uh, though, agree that there should be a minimum age of social media, though 80 might be again too high. I don't see why 18 might be too high, though. Because, you know, if, like, a 42-year-old man tries to fucking groom a 16-year-old and do it through social media, you know, of course they're gonna find ways around it. They will find ways around it. But at least it can be made more difficult. At least it can be made more difficult for them to be on social media. I don't think that 18 is a bad uh, is a bad age at all. I heard some people even say 21, which I think is a step too far. Um, but you know, like when I look back, when I was 15 or 16, you know, I still didn't also have an understanding. Like I I had older men come to me when I was nine years old. Hey, sexy. That's not okay. And this this was then in real life, I have to say that. This was in real life. But once once I got on the internet, even around 15, 16, there were some very questionable experiences. Uh, there were some questionable situations that I've experienced that you should not experience as a 15 or 16-year-old. Luckily, I went to my mom about it, but there is also a lot of girls and also a lot of boys out there that will not go to their parents about it because they will feel ashamed. Or maybe they've done something that they regret and they get threatened and they get blackmailed. Oh, if you tell your parents. So, you know... It's just I don't th I don't think um, sixteen is 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 too young. I think I feel like eighteen will be a good age to have that on. I'm not gonna and I'm gonna stand by that. Like having experienced things myself when I was younger, I I stand by that. 
Jeg skal godt sige, at det er lige for men I'm of 60. Damn, stop. <laughs> I didn't actually talk to other people on the internet until a few years ago. There's a lot of monsters out there. Yeah, exactly. And they will prey on that invulnerability. Um, and it's just really sick. So yeah, I hope that that bill passes. And I just hope it gets turned to 18 years old. Because, again... Mm -mm. We'll always find a way. Oh, of course. That's what I say. That's why I say, of course they are gonna find a way. But at least it can be made more difficult. For both sides. It's always gonna happen. It's not something that you can just stop, obviously. But it can be made more difficult. Way more difficult. I didn't see age for most things in Australia. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, it, it makes sense to me. Okay, well, let's quickly see, because we trailed off. Let's quickly see what he, um... <laughs> what he answered with. <laughs> this is the, I think this is the future interface for all computing. I think when they figure out how to make these not be these heavy $4,000 metal ski goggles, but m you know, maybe they look like these glasses or something even smaller. I mean, not even metal. That, that is what it'll be. In the morning, you won't remember your phone. You put it on and then that's it. And it's like, hold on, I've got a call. Hey, what's up, mom? I'll call you back. You look great, by the way. And that's what it's going to look like. Yeah. And these show you that. These reveal that. I am like, as a geek, that was the thing I've been looking for forever. And they did it right here on a product that has like uh, a product that is so new. This has been out for 12 hours and I felt it. So I don't know that I recommend you should buy one of these at $4,000 because I can promise you this. This will be the worst Vision Pro Apple ever ships. It is going to get so much better. Well, that's right. the thing. It, it kind of gives you a look into the future, but you know that's probably that's probably gonna last another five to ten years. You know, that's uh, it's really good to have a comment called the social dilemma. It goes in depth about how social media is legitimate danger. Oh yeah, no, one hundred percent. I agree with that. Yeah, I think there were <clears throat> <clears throat> there are what like three and a half thousand or like four thousand. Um, I never buy anything first generation. I mean, what generation are I on now? I still don't buy it. <laughs> I'm a Samsung user. I prefer that over any Apple product, to be honest. <clears throat> Putting it to search rather than just age gain it and apply abstinence until then. I mean, yeah, ma but maybe you, maybe, you know, you can still set it to 18. Like I said, they're going to find a way around it anyway. And they're going to find a way around it anyway. There's nothing you can do about it, to really, to stop that. It's just good to make it more difficult. You know? And maybe you can still do it in a way where it's under supervision, in that case. You know, if they do use it, maybe not create social media. I'm not saying that they shouldn't be watching, like, YouTube, or they shouldn't be watching this, or they shouldn't be watching that. I'm just saying when it comes to social media, just more like TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, if, if that's still alive, uh, and Twitter. Maybe train them or something, you know, or, or do it under guidance. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I keep, I keep, it comes down to the premise. Oh, 100%. I keep down that it's like 18. I, I agree with it being 18 years old. It's already good if we start with 16, 100%. But, um, I wouldn't be surprised if it might eventually get turned on to, like, 18. <clears throat> I did it! 